economy, a term you might be familiar with, as that entire world revolves around it. From power politics to development of countries, jobs, our daily use items, and most important, money. Everything in our modern civilization is derived from it. Today we will go through the journey of mankind and the evolution of economies to its current scenario. Hello and welcome to Geopolistry. Let's get started. Today, an economy is the umbrella under which trade takes place. It facilitates industries in a region and generates wealth and employment. But about 8000 years ago, it was basically taking an object, marking it as money and trading it in return for goods. Of course, there was a barter system at the time too, but we do have evidence of gold and silver being used for transaction, so it's kind of mixed up. 8000 years ago, with the emergence of the world's first civilization, began the practice of organized trade and production. As more civilizations grew, so did the trade network between them. Trade became so important that even after the collapse of these civilizations, trade continued to flow. For most of our history, regions with higher population like India and China were the richest places on the earth. These regions became so wealthy that goods from India and China were a symbol of luxury in the ancient world. As there were no proper road infrastructure at the time, most of the trade was carried out via sea routes. One of the most significant and the oldest being the monsoon marketplace. It was a major convergence zone between the east and the west via India, thanks to the monsoons. The famous Roman Empire is known to have been a huge buyer of Indian and Chinese goods and paid heavily for it. The price they had to pay was so high that many Roman senators and emperors tried to limit and even ban the import of goods like silk, but failed miserably. Gold arguably was and is a symbol of wealth and prosperity since ancient times. It was used in ancient times for trading. Until a few decades ago, all our currencies were pegged to gold in the gold standard which was later on replaced by US dollar. The removal of gold standard gave federal or central banks control over the inflation rates of their respective countries. Paper currency traces back its origin 900 years ago in China. From here by 13th century, it spread to Europe, later on to rest of the world. One can say paper currency marked the decline of gold as money. The Industrial Revolution was a major game changer in the economic history of our world. Industrial Revolution was a time when the manufacturing of goods moved into large factories. It facilitated urbanization and also improved the living standards of many. This led to the rise of new economic powers from Europe and America, which coincided with rise in pollution, slavery, and imperialism. What cannot go unnoticed was the shift in society from extended family to nuclear family. For next century, the western industrialized countries dominated the global economy and politics. So far we have witnessed four industrial revolutions. The first one marked the shift from raw manpower to steam energy. The second added electricity and mass production. The third fueled IT industries. And currently we are going through fourth industrial revolution. That is digitalization and artificial intelligence. Moving on to another major event in economy, globalization. Indeed, global trade was not a new thing. What do you think Silk Road was for? Globalization is the spread of production, technology, jobs, and information across different countries. It was meant to make an interconnected, interdependent world and promote peace and coexistence among countries. The developing countries have been the major beneficiaries of this, mainly due to cheap labor. An open world opened huge opportunities for those who could grab it. 
fortunately or unfortunately depends on you but developed countries eventually had to outsource most of their manufacturing and some service sector jobs to new asian contenders like india china vietnam etc owing to this globalization is being perceived negatively by many in developed countries but is viewed in positive light by the developing nations this indirectly led to brexit and usa's trade wars the graph that you are viewing is the estimate of gdp ppp by imf gdp purchasing power parity is useful in comparing the living standards of different countries as you can see the developing countries like china india indonesia brazil are climbing up the ladder whereas the developed countries like usa japan germany uk france are falling behind due to slow economic growth this is primarily the outcome of globalization if you are thinking that economies had been through highs only then no it was not exactly so the world has witnessed economic depressions since well forever a depression is when the economy of a region experiences negative growth for over a long period of time the credit crisis of 1772 the great depression of 1929 to 1939 the opec oil price shock of 1973 the asian crisis of 1997 financial crisis of 2007 and 8 These have been the most severe depressions hence caused tremendous sufferings to the people and society alike as unemployment and poverty soared let's focus on the current scenario despite having witnessed enormous growth the world economy has now been slowing down due to variety of reasons ranging from underperforming economies like india mexico china slumped growth in developed countries re-emergence of protectionism us china trade war rising interest rates and many more as if all this was not enough we now have a pandemic to deal with surprisingly our reaction to covid-19 has been more troublesome than the virus itself the great lockdowns have failed to stop the spread of the coronavirus in most countries but has been successful in crashing the global economy millions of jobs have been lost 1 billion people are facing chronic and acute hunger world over and now even the research for a vaccine has been dragged into dirty politics many countries are pre-booking hundreds of millions of doses of under trial vaccines to mark an end to the epidemic in their region as soon as possible the sooner a country recovers from covid-19 the sooner will its economy get back on track the ultimate resource in economic development is people it is people not capital or raw materials that develop an economy peter f drucker We began our journey 8000 years ago with the simplest of tools to make the grand civilization but somehow in the process we ended up making it too complicated to understand that's it act for today you were watching geopolis tree hope you like share and subscribe please do leave your feedback in the comment section